So I had been coming to Miracle Life for I think um, maybe two years prior and um, a friend of mine kept on nudging me saying oh you should come to marriage come to marriage I said oh okay so I came and there was this um, it was a wonderful night and then we got to the worship and I had been battling with something actually on my heart um, Pastor Walker had been speaking about serving and um, being a part of the church so yes I was a member but at the time, I wasn't actively doing anything. So here comes this night, um, and um, I remember the song that played. Um, oh, come to the altar. And we were being invited that if there's anything on your heart that you wish to you know, leave at the altar, just come to Jesus. Um, come right now. And I got up and walked to the front. I didn't think about it. I just got up and went there. And I was received with a warm hug. Um, and I cried. I cried and let it all out. For me, worship is liberty. It's freedom. Um, whatever you're going through, you can just worship and release it to God. So after that, um, God was nudging me, so what about the serving? I was like, well, I've always loved singing and I've always been interested in singing, but how do I do this? So I think they had actually advertised and even on the website, actually, when you go to the ministry section, there's like a lot of stuff that you can do. So I said, okay, let me try, kind of filled it in. And I was thinking, okay, am I actually even worthy enough? Do I have to, you know, sound a certain way and whatnot? But I thought, look, um, if God was leading you there, he would sort out the rest. So that taught me that it's not about me or how I feel. Because in whatever way or form that I've woken up that morning, I can still worship and praise. And I'll be able to do what God has called me to do. And so, it, for me, worship is, it's become my life. To me, that's how God ministers to me and me to him. That's our relationship. And I feel that we were all created to worship, all of us. God created us to worship. There's something we can share with him that's intimate, it's holy, and it's sacrificial. 